So after learning how to add music and sound effects to our Clipchamp video editing timeline, the next thing is we'd like to learn how to add graphics, stock images and videos, okay, from the software or from external source. If you want to add graphics into the timeline, all you need is just to navigate to wherever you want to add that particular graphics, okay, and you can come all the way to graphics panel over here. And you can see a number of them that you can easily add. You can add this arrow or you can just add this um, law sign, okay? And you can add GIFs from here or you can go ahead and, and add shapes. For example, you can drag this and drop it here and you'll be able to define the exact position. For example, you want to be specific with these girls. You can just define the position. Maybe you want to like show them or show emphasis that this, these are the girls that are running. Can just uh, define them okay very easily and you can define the extent of the graphics as well if you want it to move as far as here so let's say we can let it move up to here so this is one way you can add another graphics also if you want if you have anything so these shapes these frames if you have any so let's say this is frames you can just drag and drop it here and let's see what it does okay so let's see yeah, this is the frame. In cases, if you have the, if you want to add something, um, the transition or the connecting point between these two clips, I think better I just bring it back a little bit. And I don't want to see this text here. I can just select and delete it. So let's see the frame that we just put. Yeah, this is it. It's equally acting like an overlay or something like a transition within our footage. So you can drag and drop anything as far as um, graphics are concerned from here. If you have any other thing or if you want to bring in from external source, you can go to sites like Pixabay and you can be able to bring in different kind of vectors, images or videos as well. You can bring them in from here. So you can just come over here, specify what you want to bring in. Is it a vector? Is it a video? Or is it... Um, um, other features like, like music and sound effects and gifs you can also bring them from here depending on your searches okay and i think this kind of looks cool you can easily bring it in so that is about graphics you can easily drag and drop any from here from anywhere and then stock images okay you can come to the stock images if you want to add from the clip charm directly you can see from stock images you have different kind of stock block colors overlays you can see natural wonders so depending on what you are targeting but then what you should pay attention to is you can see more of the free ones from here you can see the different images but i must confess you don't have much images here if you want to get more more images you can come to um, pixabay.com also you can see images you can just search anything for example robots you can just search for robots and you can see exceptional images that are free to use, free to share and reshare and copyright free. You can just select any of the images and just download. You can just select. You can just go ahead and download over here by specifying the size and click on download. It is going to download this very image for you. So let's get back. So this is how to import stock images. All you need is just to download here. If you download a stock image, you can just go ahead, come over here and import it, come to the media and import that particular image. If you have it saved anywhere, you can just go ahead and import it. If you have any image that you want to be specifically interested in, you can just drag, select and move it in. And you can see you imported it and you can drag and drop it into the timeline and you have it in your video you can resize to fill in these spaces uh, just like so so the next thing is stock video you can check in stock video also there are some stock videos but not so good also if you want to check in stock videos free to use free to share and reshare you can just click come to either pixabay or pixels pixels also is good with pictures okay let's say pixels.com excels.com also is good with stock um, stock pictures and videos you can check also on videos so you can check videos or photos you will be able to see them uh, depending on your choice okay and then you can check on pictures over here so if you want to see stock videos you can just come all the way here these illustrations you can check and see videos you want to see videos of robots and you can see a number of videos of robots these are free to use free to share and share and as you hover over any of them 
to be able to see the impact it's going to have or the, the preview of it as it is going to be uh, as what, uh, what it's going to look like in the video. So you can download from here and also follow the same process to import and then you can drag and drop it into the timeline. Okay, all the video footage I've used, I downloaded them from this Pixabay website. So, okay, so this is how to add um, stock images, stock videos. The free ones here are not that good and are not that many. You can always refer to Pixels or Pixabay and then adding graphics. Okay, also graphics, you can also refer to Pixabay and you can add some graphics on vectors to at, at least make your video look different and nice. Okay, so I think at this point, this, that does it for this tutorial on how to add graphics, stock images and videos into the timeline. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. That does it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.